Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast laser cutting project. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to be cutting one of the kinetic coasters. Once again, I've added these cool little wires that let me hold my cardboard down. You can see that I just move them over into place, and bingo, it keeps it fastened just the way I want. I'm going to fire up the laser. Today we're going to use the Ed Ezra P10. Real quickly, I'm going to swap to the P10. Let's make sure we got that COM port correct. It jumped to COM8 for me, and bingo, as you can see, the laser is homing. While it's doing that, let's find our design. Friends, we're going to be making the kinetic coaster that was designed in Tinkercad. All right, friends, so of course we're going to click Import. Then I'm just waiting for the 3D modeling to catch up, and we are going to choose the Kinetic Coaster. So friends, this was created in Tinkercad. It's really fun and fast. What's going to happen is this gear is going to be sandwiched in between these two pieces with these little supports holding it up, a plastic straw in the middle, and when you're done, you've got an awesome coaster that's able to spin, i.e. a Kinetic Coaster. I'm going to quickly check my cuts and layers. I'm going to be doing a speed of 420, one pass, and a power of 100%. Let's use move and get the laser into place. I will push this out so that you guys can see it as it cuts. And of course, let's do a quick frame. I have already got the laser set to this thickness of cardboard. As you can see, that is working like a champ. Let's grab some safety glasses and make something magical. Next level. All right, so let's check out what we made. Once again, removing the little wires. As you can see, it is cutting through very well. Pop that out and pop that out. And we need to collect part one, part two, part three, and then those four little corners. There's one, two, three and four. Let me take them inside and show you how we put it together. Alright friends, so step one is to get 12 millimeters of straw or even a little less because you don't want it poking out. With my straw cut, I'm going to glue this in the bottom with hot glue. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit of hot glue I'm going to make sure I put the tiniest bit of hot glue in the hole because I don't want to get hot glue up above. Now I can push the straw down in there and make sure there's no hot glue up above and also make sure I didn't just stick it to the table. At this point, I'm going to use normal glue for the four corners. Just putting a tiny bit on each. This is also giving that hot glue time to cool. Now in a classroom setting, it is a great idea to paint this or color it to make it more awesome. Since I'm just showing you how to do it, mine, of course, is not painted. Then you simply slide it in. See how well that spins because there's no glue holding it in place. 
and then I'm going to add glue on top. And I'm not going to glue the centerpiece just because that's one less place where it can get gummed up and not be able to spin. And then we simply push it in place and make sure that it goes down. And bingo, you have got your cute little spinner. How cool is that? Friends, in the background there, you can see the project in Tinkercad. Once again, it runs in a web browser. I'll have a link up above so you can get to the tutorial. It only takes a little more than 10 minutes, and then bam, you've got your own awesome design that you can customize and, of course, use on your laser cutter. Friends, I do want to quickly remind you that I've got my website, hlmodtech.com. It has a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with all sorts of lessons, great for beginners or even categories that you can track down. Down at the bottom, friends, there is also a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight that I have a tab dedicated to lasers. You'll note here that I show you some of the lasers I have, and then also down at the bottom, you can find a downloads area where I'm giving away free files that you can use on your laser cutter. Friends, I do want to remind you, if you want more info about the Adazer P10, there is a link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell. You're going to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.